finished uh, two weeks in the city. We are in the Blue Mountains and we will finally do some rock climbing. Uh, can't wait. Let's see if it's good or not. We started the day with that really nice 13, which is something like in the fifth grade. Uh, that Audrey is about to climb. We are trying to, to take it easy because her finger is still injured. What happened? Uh, I injured my pulley. I just have to be patient and trying to climb very easy routes and not put too much weight on my finger. All the conditions are here to have a good day. Voilà, prends les bacs. So how did it feel? Well, I don't know, my finger was still hurting, so I have to take care. Anyway, the scenery from the top is amazing. So I'll keep this idea in mind and just enjoy. Later on I did a very steep uh, 7A on site which was uh, really cool yeah, with uh, huge moves. doing some face climbing it's uh, this this one is a, a classical 7a plus I uh, just missed the on site but yeah really really nice climbing As it is winter here in the Blue Mountains, uh, we choose to do Helpix for a stay. Uh, Helpix is the website that allows you to meet people and have free rooms in exchange of a few hours of work. For our first week, we stayed with James and Mia, who are two nice Australian guys. They have a huge property with a wonderful house in the middle of nature in Blackheath, a little town in the Blue Mountains. The deal with them was working four hours a day in exchange for a beautiful room with a private bathroom and all the meals. It is a really fair deal because you can have all the comfort you need and meeting very nice people, improve your English and we also learned a few things about uh, gardening and stuff. So it was really interesting and one great thing is we had all the afternoon free to do rock climbing on the cliffs and what was great is that we had only a 10 minutes drive to the cliffs so you can like go rock climbing only for a couple of hours when you want and the weather is always beautiful like in three weeks we only had one day raining so it's very it's like perfect we are really glad to have a chance to meet James and Mia they both share a passion for rock climbing and outdoor experiences. Tim's background was very impressive to us because he's a professional adventurer and he used to do uh, like really risky expedition around the globe. A few years ago he was the first man to cross the Tasmanian Sea between New Zealand and Australia and he do it uh, with only a kayak so it's like an incredible thing to, to believe. 
and he also went for the longest expedition ever in South Pole. It was also amazing, I guess. So what an impressive guy. We encourage you to read his two books about his expeditions. Uh, we'll review them later after we finish reading. What is good is Helpix is that it's very convenient to use because you only have to log in on the website and there is a map where you can see uh, every Helpix in the world and there are many many of them so you can contact the people who offer the room and just discuss a bit with them and then agree to go and it works perfectly well so we just recommend you to to do this uh, we think it's probably the cheapest way ever to have a great experience abroad our big climbing trip begins here in the blue mountains the blue mountains are located uh, two hours and a half from Sydney. This area is absolutely huge. There is more than 2,000 sport routes. Um, but there are also many track climbs, uh, multi-pitches. So the rock here is sandstone and it's an absolute perfect sandstone with very good friction. Um, so the style is mainly creams and bouldery. You can find also some features like uh, pockets and strange pitches and all this kind of good stuff. Right now it's the beginning of winter here in Australia, so the conditions are perfect for climbing. Uh, the temperature is between 10 and 15 degrees. It's always really dry, just a bit windy. As my personal goal for this year is to climb 3.8a, I decided in the first days to start searching a project. I first tried one classic route which is called Decodifier. It was a face climb in the sector of uh, Shipley Upper and uh, there were two cruxes for me and I did not manage to find the, the beta for any of them. <laughs> I had to abandon this one. Then I tried another classic 8A at the Crag Centennial Glen. So the route is called August 1914. I managed to stick all the move at my first go. So it was pretty encouraging. Second day in the project. I think we'll warm up somewhere around here. There's a nice 7A. the rock features some really nice pockets uh, even though it's sandstone it reminds me a bit of Margalef. The route is 12 meters it has uh, about 30 movements in total it has two cracks for me the hardest one is the first one um, the hardest move of the first crux uh, is still really hard for me. It's a big, uh, it's a big dynamic movement to a good crimp, and you have to heel up really, really high, almost uh, at my ears. Actually, I'm pretty happy with my progress on the route today. I was able to link all the move all the way up to the big dyno that I did not stick. Um, and after that I was able to uh, link the dyno and then the two moves uh, after, which are still really hard for me. So that was, that was really cool. Uh, today's crag is called Gateway. Uh, there are two very nice 
red caves. It was uh, not that easy to find the crack because we had to mess around in the bush for like 30 minutes. <laughs> they were like no, no track. I think I'm gonna start the day with a 24 that goes from the right hand up to the top of the first cave. Oh, 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 oh,